Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Marketplace Reward Point System. Now this particular plugin allows the marketplace sellers to add reward points to each of their products as required. Apart from that, the sellers can also mention the number of reward points that can be used to purchase a particular product. Now on the other hand, the customers receive the reward points after the product purchase and after that they can check the earned point details for each order separately as required. They can also check uh, the earned points for uh, uh, seller wise as well. Now in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this uh, particular plugin at the customer's end. So I'll be showing you how the customers can view the product page details or the reward points on the product page, how they can purchase and receive the reward points, how they can view the reward points, uh, how they can make a purchase using the reward points there and how to add the reward points to the products in the uh, vendor uh, panel and lastly i'll be showing you the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin as well so right now you can see i'm at the marketplace uh, web store right now front end and uh, i'm on one of the products there that's the low high skirt as you can see so uh, the particular seller is john doe and john doe has set the reward points uh, to receive on this uh, particular product uh, if you're uh, purchasing this product uh, then you'll be receiving the reward points as 100 reward points and uh, if you want to purchase this product uh, using the reward points then the price in reward points is 100 so 100 reward points need to be used uh, so as to make purchase uh, for this particular uh, product the price is 183 but if you have 100 uh, reward points in your account then you can make a purchase using the same there so now uh, first of all let me show you how the customers can earn the reward points and for that uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be placing an order for the low high skirt so uh, we'll be receiving 100 reward points for the same so I'll add this product into the cart uh, but before we make a checkout I'll just uh, want to show you something uh, so if I go to the cart here you can see that we have the use reward points option uh, with the available number of reward points from multiple sellers there and here we have uh, customer name John Doe available points are 180 points to use maximum 100 and the product name is low high skirt so if I want I can use 100 reward points to purchase this particular uh, product itself uh, by entering 100 points here and then applying the points but now for now I'll be just making a checkout as a normal checkout there and I'll show you how the customers can earn the reward points so I'll first place the order and I'll be uh, choosing the different options here and the delivery method uh, for the time being I'll just tap here on the continue button I'll be choosing uh, the uh, payment method here uh, for now I'll be choosing cash on delivery we have online payment methods as well and uh, let me confirm the order and uh, let's place the order so I'm placing the order for the low high skirt there after the order has been placed uh, let me check the order history there so the order number is 561 now that was how the customers can purchase a product uh, and uh, to receive the reward points I'll show you how the customers would receive the reward points but uh, before that let me show you the option that the customers get under the account panel to check the reward points so under the account panel here for the customer there uh, we have the customer account block here so here we have uh, the uh, reward points option so if I tap on that uh, we'll be able to see the reward points here the total number of reward points is uh, 10380 right now uh, the last order uh, that was placed for that we received the 100 reward points here we have deducted 10 reward points 10 reward points have been added if I want I want to check the reward details I can just tap here on the reward details I can check the date added uh, the rewarder or the seller name the uh, description there from which uh, order the particular reward points have been received and the number of points that have been received by the customer apart from that the customer can view the total reward details from the multiple uh, sellers so here we have the multiple marketplace one seller John Doe is the another seller so from John Doe we have 180 points and from Webcool Marketplace we have uh, 10,200 points there. Uh, so that's how you can view the reward points. Now we have the order number 561. Now let me go to the admin backend panel and, and uh, let me go to the order section. Here's the order number 561. The admin just needs to open the order 
and here on the right hand side we have the reward points so we can now add the 100 reward points to the customer there because the, uh, the order is complete so i'll just tap here on the add button and now if i come back to this particular section uh, under the customer's uh, account panel and then reward points uh, you can see the order number 561 is being reflected and we have received the 100 reward points as you can see so we can tap here and view the details for the order 561 the seller John Doe has rewarded us with 100 reward points there now that was how the uh, customer can uh, make a purchase and receive the reward points now let's see how uh, the product purchase can be done using the reward points so for that uh, I'll be uh, searching for the product so I'll just enter low high I'll search for my particular product here is the low high skirt so you can see that the price in reward points is 100 so I don't want to make use of my cash I want to make use of the reward points so I'll add this particular product into the cart I'll go to the cart there and right now you can see that now we have uh, 10,480 points so uh, we had initially 180 now we have 280 points 100 points have been received for this particular product purchase there now let's make use of the uh, reward points there by entering the reward point amount and tapping on the apply points button so you can see that the uh, your reward point discount has been applied so if i scroll down here you can see that the reward point 100 has been applied uh, to the particular order there the total is uh, zero let's make a checkout we'll have to uh, make the payment for uh, the shipping there uh, but we have received the discount there so uh, let me show you how the reward point details are visible there at the uh, time of uh, placing the order as well and after we have placed the order as well so here are the reward points minus 183 uh, dollars there let me confirm the order after the order has been placed we can give the uh, history there and uh, we can view order number 562 has been completed let's view the order so you can see that uh, the subtotal was 183 the reward points uh, used are 100 new reward points have been used and the amount uh, deducted was minus 183 there for the particular product uh, so that's how you can uh, basically make a purchase using the reward points now how to add the reward points to the uh, products so for that what you need to do is uh, we'll have to go to the uh, marketplace vendor dashboard so you'll have to log into the vendor dashboard first account panel first and after login on the vendors uh, account block here we have to go to uh, the reward system now here you'll find the complete list of products on which the reward system has been or the reward points have been added uh, this is the particular list where we find the complete list of uh, products having the reward points now to add the reward points we have to go to the products but before that under this reward uh, product list that we can see uh, by going to the reward system under the vendor account panel there here you can edit any of the uh, products uh, to check the product reward details uh, you can check the points uh, using which this product can be purchased so we had set 100 points for the low high skirt and we had set hundred dollars uh, as the reward points uh, to receive after you purchase the product there so you can make it the changes here and you can save the changes as well if you want you can also delete any of the uh, the products on which uh, or the reward points on the products uh, uh, to which you have applied the reward points by selecting the particular product and tapping on the delete button now to add how to add the reward points to the products uh, for that you have to go to the product list and uh, there you have to edit any of the products it applies to a newly created product or uh, to an already created product as well and then on the uh, edit product page you have to go to the reward tab now here you'll have to set the points or the number of points needed to buy this item if you don't want uh, this product to be purchased with points leave this particular section as zero and here or for the uh, default customer group you can set the reward points that uh, the customers would receive after placing the order uh, for the product there so for this particular product that's the black leather jacket under the reward tab 
uh, you have to set the points uh, needed to be uh, for example if I set it as 200 then 200 points are required to purchase this product and if I set 120 here these are the reward points uh, that would be accumulated in your reward points after you purchase this particular product then you need to just tap on the save button to save this and now if I go back uh, to that particular section that's the reward system under the account block of the vendor here I'll find uh, the particular uh, product being listed here black leather jacket uh, with the 200 points I can edit it up so with 200 points we can purchase this particular product if I go to the product page we can find the details uh, there as I've already shown you initially and here are the uh, here is the amount uh, uh, of the reward points that you will receive after purchasing this particular product so uh, that was uh, the workflow there for the open cut marketplace reward point system and uh, i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow now let's see uh, what initial configuration settings are there for this particular plugin so for that uh, we'll just go to uh, the section that's extensions extension here we'll be choosing the extension type as modules and here we'll scroll down uh, to the marketplace reward system and here we'll be editing the same so from here you'll be able to enable or disable this reward system functionality within your store by choosing enable or disable there then we have the reward transfer and here we have the option to enable or disable this particular reward transfer functionality so if it's enabled then whenever the seller will be deleted then the seller's reward points will be deleted from the customer's reward points otherwise if you have enabled it then all of the points of the seller would be considered as the admin's reward points there and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so that was the initial configuration settings for this particular uh, plugin and I hope this uh, particular uh, particular uh, video helped you out in understanding the workflow of this uh, particular uh, plugin if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. Also kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.